Hi and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here again today. How are you doing? I hope you had an amazing week. In today's video, I'll be talking about a topic I haven't really spoken about or written about. I'll be talking about my study experience in Germany. If you've studied abroad, you probably know what I'm talking about. And if you're currently studying abroad or planning to study abroad, I will be sharing some helpful tips and things that you can do to make yourself more successful on your journey. So I want to start with sharing a little of my story. At the age of 15, I moved to Germany to go study. I, I knew nothing about what to expect. I did not know if it would be good. I did not know if it would be bad. I didn't really spend a lot of time thinking about the experience. I focused more on finishing school in Nigeria and moving to Germany. There were so many things I did not know about studying in Germany. I did not know what the requirements were. I did not know how to prep. I did not know what I was going to experience. I just went and I was open for the journey. <laughs> So I moved to Germany and the first thing that I had to do was I had to start learning the language. Learning German is difficult, but it is much easier if you're living in Germany because you have a lot of people to talk to, you have um, TV shows that you can watch, you have different ways to practice the language. So one of the prerequisites to studying in Germany was not only to learn the language, but also to do something called student college. Which one of the objectives of student college is to bring your knowledge level to a tour level, which is the knowledge level that you would have had if you went to high school in Germany. It's very some of the classes that I had to take were biology, physics, and math, due to the fact that I was going for an engineering. So I know this differs based on the university course you are preparing to study. I spent about a year taking German courses, learning the language, learning about the culture, learning about the people, <laughs> learning about the country itself, and it was a very great experience. It is one thing to go all your life up to high school in English and then have to move to Germany and learn technical terms in German. As I must say, I look back and I don't even know how I did it. I completed my student college and then started my first semester at the University of Saarbrücken. I must say my student college was also on the, on the university campus but now I was an official student and now I was studying Computer und Kommunikationstechnik which means Computer and Communications Technology. <laughs> Thinking back on how I actually selected the course to study, I believe I just studied the brochure <laughs> and I was looking for engineering courses and I chose a course that I thought sounded good. So I decided to try it out and I quickly came to the realization that that was not my skill set. I was not passionate about the course and I needed to make a change. I then made a change and moved to the University of Applied Sciences in a town called Trier and in German it's called the Fachhochschule. The course that I started studying was Wirtschafts Ingenieurwesen, which can be translated as Mechanical Engineering with a minor in Business. It was a very nice course. I felt that there was a balance with the business aspect as well as the engineer aspect, as I always thought I would become an engineer. Unfortunately, I had to make an unplanned change again. And this was because I had tried over and over again to pass a thermodynamic course and it was not working. So I had to make a change. And I must say, this was a pivotal change in my life and I'm so happy that I actually changed because I would not be where I am today if I continued being an engineer. The third change that I made was to study a course called Wirtschaft Informatik, which translates to business information systems. And as I said, this was amazing. I was able to use some of the credits that I had gathered over my long experience in university and get to a place where I could finally see the end of my undergrad in sight. I was able to complete my bachelor's degree in business information systems within four semesters because I was passionate, I was working hard, and I also had a lot of credits that I had gathered through my other two courses. Talking about this experience, I must say my heart is filled with pride because it was not easy, but I worked through it and I made it work for myself. After I graduated, I went to work because I needed the money. <laughs> I no longer wanted to be a broke student. 
After a couple of years of working though, I felt like I wanted to go back and get my master's, which I thought I'll never ever do. After it took me so long to get my bachelor's degree, I never thought I'll go up for a master. But, the, but there was something in me that kept telling me, MC, you need to do this, and I did it. About a year and a half after I graduated, I then started my master's. I started my master's while I was working full time, so I was doing a part time master's. And I must say, it's hard. If you want to hear more about the experience and how I work full time and studying on the side, definitely let me know. I'm happy to share. I successfully completed my master's degree in about two and a half years, which made me extremely proud. After I completed my master's, I felt like my educational journey had ended. I always said I'll never do a PhD. But now I'm not quite sure. You know how they say, never say never? <laughs> That's my motto for now. Looking back on my educational journey and how long it took me and how complex it was, I definitely have some learnings and things I wish I knew <laughs> before going in and also some things that I would have done differently if I was starting again. The five things that I wish I knew before I went to study in Germany are Number one, I wish I knew that it was going to be hard. I went there, I was optimistic and full of hope, which helped me. <laughs> but I wish I had a more realistic outlook on what it would take. The challenges that I've encountered were hard. And there's no way to sugarcoat it, they were hard. And I just wish that I knew beforehand that this was going to be a very hard experience. The second thing that I wish I knew was that the experience will be lonely. I was studying at a university that did not have a lot of African students. So I did not know who to talk to most of the time about my experience and it just felt like I was alone and there was no one else that was feeling the same thing that I was feeling. The third thing that I wish someone told me before I went to study in Germany was you will need a community. Being that I had just come from high school, secondary school in Nigeria and I knew everyone and I had a community, I did not think it would be very difficult to find a new community, but it was very difficult. The fourth thing that I wish somebody told me, and I think this applies to everybody who goes to college or university, I wish someone told me it will be hard. You've gone through high school and we, in Nigeria, we go through a lot of subjects and we have a lot of uh, work to do in school. University is very different. You have a lot of work to do. You have a lot of things that you need to learn on your own versus being taught by someone else. I wish somebody just told me that it would be a lot of work, so hunker down and do a lot of work. The fifth thing, the fifth thing that I would have liked somebody to tell me before I went to Germany to study is that I do not know a lot. I lack a lot of information. <laughs> I was moving to this new country, starting to study, and I had not done a lot of research to find out you know, what it took. I had not done a lot of research to find out what the requirements were. I had not done a lot of research to see what type of school it was, what resources were available, and I did not just have the information that I needed at that point. Even though my journey was not perfect, I ended up with a great result. Are there any other tips that you would like to share that helped you while you were studying abroad? If yes, please add them in the comment section. Let's start helping other people as well. I really enjoyed reflecting on my journey as a student and I'm looking forward to all the many conversations that we will have. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. But before I go, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, add comments and share with your friends and family. Thank you again. Bye.